Welcome to PayPal Stock Intrinsic Analysis. In this video, we'll go over the complete analysis and the reason why I think the stock did not hit the bottom yet. If you are interested to only knowing why I think the stock did not hit the bottom and will continue to go down, then you can watch the video before this one on the channel or jump to the end of this video. Before we dive into this analysis, I want to remind you that this video is not financial advice and for entertainment purposes only. For those who are new to this company, PayPal is an American multinational financial technology company operating an online payment system. The stock sticker symbol is PYPL. The company reports their operations in a fiscal year that ends on December 31st of every year. And the audit report is clean so we'll be using the financial statements provided in the annual reports to perform this analysis. And by the way, you can download all the annual reports from the Security and Exchange Commission website. When we look at the 2022 revenue, we find that 92% was made from the transaction fee revenue and only 8% from other value added services. And when we examine the 2022 revenue geographically, we find that 57% of 2022 revenue was made in the United States, 8% in the United Kingdom, and 35% in all of the other countries. There is more than one metric that we can use to test PayPal operations. The first one is the active accounts number year over year. As we can see in the graph, the number of people using PayPal has been growing every year since 2017, which means that the company is keeping its users happy and more people are signing up to use the service. The second metric is the number of payment transactions. The growth shown in the graph also suggests that the users are happy and using the service even more than the prior year. Scrolling down, we can use another metric to check the financial aspect of this company. The revenue in the blue line has been growing every year since 2017 and the operating expenses growth is naturally following the revenue as we can see in the orange line. The net income in the gray line declined in 2022, which is a new thing since 2017. You can argue that this is the reason behind the decline of the stock price, but in my opinion, it's not the actual reason as I will show you in a minute. Checking the gross margin, it's going down every year and it went down from 66% in 2017 to 56% in 2022. But that's not a big issue because PayPal is growing and that's an expected thing at this stage. When we look at the free cash flow graph, it's almost like a zigzag. But if you draw a line from 2017 to 2022 free cash flow, you can definitely say that the free cash flow is growing in all these years. In my opinion, the zigzag pattern will continue as we will see at the end of the video. Checking the company's debt, in 2022, the debt to assets ratio is only 13% which is very reasonable, but at the same time, the times interest earned ratio is declining every year which is concerning. This ratio tells us how many times the interest expense the company made in earnings before taxes, depreciation and amortization. The minimum we want to see for this ratio is 7 times, so PayPal is comfortably able to service the debt, but the trend of decline is alarming. Scrolling down to the outstanding shares, the company buys back its shares which is always a good news and they reduce the outstanding shares by almost 9% since 2017. Checking the dividends, unfortunately for dividend investors, PayPal is not a dividend company. Moving on to the forecast part, if I use the annual financial statements information and I do not look at the quarterly reports of 2023, then the stock price is undervalued by 40%, which doesn't make sense with what I said at the beginning of the video, that's my opinion the stock will continue to go down. So we need to use the most recent financial statements, which is the second quarter of 2023. In the cash flow statement, the operating cash flow is 970 million versus in the first half of 2022 the operating cash flow is 2.4 billion. In other words, the operating cash flow went down by about 61%. And if you ask why the operating cash flow is very important, because the free cash flow is the operating cash flow minus the capital expenditures. So the free cash flow in the first half of 2023 is 650 million 
Dividing that by the outstanding shares, the free cash flow per share is 59 cents. Let's assume that the second half of the year will also yield 59 cents, making the free cash flow per share for the year 2023 $1.18. Let's give PayPal the benefit of the doubt and assume that the free cash flow per share at the end of 2023 is $1.70. So we are being optimistic about the free cash flow per share. If we don't discount the free cash flow per share and use 5% return investment ratio, the intrinsic value is $34 per share. And even if we push the free cash flow per share a little more to $2, and using 5% return investment ratio, which is the minimum that you should accept, by the way, the intrinsic value of the stock will be $40. And since the current stock market price is $55.75, in my opinion, we did not hit the bottom yet, and the next couple of months will be very interesting for PayPal stock. I want to mention, as we saw earlier, the operations of PayPal are going well and we measure that by the number of active accounts, the number of transaction payments, and the growth of the revenue. So we can eliminate this reason as the thing scaring off investors. So in my opinion, the financial structure of the company is not letting PayPal to generate more value for the investors as we saw in the numbers of the second quarter report. And with that, I think I fully explained my opinion. Thank you for watching this video to the end and see you in another video.